What's going on, everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the other day I saw a little something something from Rogue over on Twitter. And for anybody who doesn't know who Rogue is, he's a pretty reliable leaker for X to find. So far, pretty much everything he has leaked has pretty much come true with a lot of these seasons. So, you know, a lot of the stuff that he did, I I'm assuming it's data mining or something. I, I don't know exactly what he's doing, but regardless, the information is pretty legit. And he went ahead and posted something that just, uh, it really threw me for a twist. And it, it worried me. It worried me a ton. Now, it's nothing to really stress about for the future of X-Defiant. It's long gone. But to think how close X-Defiant was from complete and utter failure is just insane. But, of course, ladies and gentlemen, before we go ahead and dive deep, if you guys are interested in more content just like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. We post daily here at 8 morning Eastern Time. And don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, today is Season 2 for X Defiant, which we will be streaming over on Twitch. So, of course, if you guys are interested in seeing my live impressions before, of course, we make a video about it tomorrow, by all means, tune into my stream. I'll be live at 12 p.m. Eastern Time, and you can find a link to that channel down in the description of this video. All right, so, ladies and gentlemen, a decent amount of time ago, this community, the FPS community, was infected with probably the worst thing that has ever happened. I mean, honestly, I shouldn't say that because skill-based matchmaking might be the worst thing that has ever happened to, you know, modern-day gaming. But what I'm really talking about is loot boxes. We had loot boxes for a long time, ladies and gentlemen, and it got to the point where even, you know, the government had to get involved to try to moderate this system because they were really trying to incorporate basically gambling into a video game and this system just it it wasn't it it simply wasn't it and again after black ops 4 they cut it from call of duty a lot of other games got it cut i remember star wars battlefront 2 you know the the backlash ea got for their loot box system within that game that had to completely scrap i remember they removed it completely just to reevaluate it make it different and then put it back on the market it was a really bad time, ladies and gentlemen, but luckily for us, we have evolved away from loot boxes. Now, some will argue that the battle pass system isn't as good and it's bad, but I'll be honest with you. I will take anything in the world over loot boxes, even if they didn't reevaluate what they want to do for, you know, their systems and they don't want to do the battle pass system anymore. I would still rather them think of any other idea <laughs> than incorporate loot boxes. But guys, again... As you can see right here from Rogue, Ubisoft San Francisco planned to implement a crate system for X Defiant. To open crates, you needed keys. No idea how exactly you got keys. They were event keys for Halloween, etc. There was also faction crates, probably rewarding skins and whatever else. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it here. They were going to have a loot box system within X Defiant. And it, 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 again, Nobody really knows how this would have been handled, but what worries me a little bit more is the fact that this information is popping back up for present day. Another post, as you can see here, from someone responding saying, so they don't plan on doing this anymore, because not going to lie, loot boxes would be fun. Sorry, man, I, I don't agree with that at all, Goblin, but again, to each his own. But Rogue responded saying, some were updated last year for an event, but it's been scrapped, so no idea what they are doing guys last year okay x define has been in production for a while now and loot boxes have been out of gaming for a very long time i mean that that that's pretty much just a standard right if you put loot boxes in your game the gaming community is going to shun you I, i've seen it time and time and time again that's why literally no company does it anymore right it, it's a reason that this stuff is avoided but to hear that this system was seen again basically within the year for an event worries me because I hope that this is not going to be something that is implemented into the future of X Defiant, especially if things don't go the way that Ubisoft has planned. Now, I will say it would add some more variety, would it not, right? If you had loot boxes within the game and you were able to unlock skins through this system, it would always be something to grind for. You will always be trying to unlock keys. You would be hopping into the experience to work towards something. You wouldn't be just working towards, you know, getting the mastery camo or just leveling up, but you would be working towards getting more keys so you can unlock skins and, you know, look cooler, so on and so forth, all that good stuff. Technically, yeah, it probably would give people a reason to hop in and want to play. But I, I have to be real. I just don't like the system. It is pure 
utter gambling. And again, if you want to go to a casino and gamble away, by all means, enjoy yourself. But in a video game, I don't think gambling should, you know, unless it's like a, a, a straight up gambling game, then yeah. But in an FPS game, I don't think practices like that should be, you know, done whatsoever. And it is gambling. You can go all year long. You can go two, three, four years without seeing certain skins. You can. It's a luck factor to it. You know, you're not rolling and it's a guaranteed chance. It's not like how it is now with the battle pass where you grind through it and you're guaranteed the content if you, you know, put time in. No, you can indeed go years without unlocking what you want. Again, I don't personally think there's much that you have to worry about here for the future, but isn't it odd that, you know, after all these years, it's not like loot boxes just ended a year ago. You know, loot boxes have been gone for ages now. It's been a long time. Since we had to deal with the, the infection known as loot boxes. So, in, in just one year, why is Ubisoft thinking of even considering implementing such a thing into this game? And I know it's not in the game, but why would they even consider such a thing? Look, I, I'm going to tell you straight up. X Defiant doesn't need loot boxes. You don't need to tap into the gambling addiction to get people to cough up money for your game. You just have to simply implement skins that are worth the money that people will actually want to cough up cash for. I mean, Valorant has, I don't know if they still do, but I remember they used to have bundles close to a hundred bucks that people would buy, okay? I don't think it's worth it. I still think that's disgusting that they would price something like that for digital content in a game. That's an absolute joke. But the reason I'm bringing that up is to just showcase that it's proof that people are going to spend that money, okay? Even though I don't think, you know, uh, that that's worth the money whatsoever. It doesn't mean someone else out there doesn't think it's worth the money. People will spend the cash if they want to spend the cash. And right now, nobody wants to spend the cash. And it's not because the game, you know, sucks to them. It's just because the skins are phenomenal. I know people who have a ridiculous amount of hours in this game who barely have any skins because... They just don't simply think they're worth it. Now, some people will go out of their way to purposely support the developers and to support this game, which is fantastic, phenomenal. And I respect people like that. But that doesn't, uh, you know, you can't speak for everyone. Others are going to look at the skins, and if they don't like them, they're not going to pay for them. And if they do like them, they will pay for them. I mean, look at this skin right here. When I saw this, I'm like, wow, this isn't too shabby. It, it looks pretty cool. Nothing insane. It looks pretty cool. I thought it was going to come out in the battle pass. <laughs> Apparently, this skin is for maxing out and ranked. Okay, so you have to sweat your nuts off. You have to go as hard as possible and get into the top sector of ranked. And this is what you get. I... I I hope it has a cool sound or something because the previous one, it was a paintball gun. It didn't look fantastic or anything, but at least it sounded, I think, like a paintball gun. I, 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 guys, come on now. Again, I'm not trying to be mean here. I really am not. I really am not because I enjoy X Defiant. But this is exactly what I'm talking about. The skins don't match anything. If you're getting an insane rank, you should be getting a really dope animated skin. If you're coughing up 20, 30, 40 bucks for a bundle, you should once again be getting really dope you know, style of content, whether it's collaborations, animated stuff, anything. Skins have evolved. And, you know, I don't even want, I, I don't even want to say that. I don't even want to say skins have evolved because even BO2 had flashier looking skins than X Defiant right now. I, I'm being so serious right now. Even BO2 has flashier skins than X Defiant. I, guys, it's as simple as that. Loot boxes don't have to be implemented whatsoever. You just have to get better skins out there. If you get better skins, people will cough up money. And I respect the developers because they said that they want to perfect the game before they start thinking about the skins. But realistically, isn't there a set team, a set of, you know, group of people who make skins? Who don't do any, like, they're, they're specifically on the art team? I don't know. I don't know. But I thought, you know, everybody was sectioned off into their own thing. I'm just hoping that the art team can step up their game at some point in time. Because not all the skins are, but there's a lot of decent skins, I will say. They have a handful of good things in the store. But the bad things severely outweigh the good things in every way possible. And what I'm hoping is that, like the developer said, like Mark Rubin said, over time, they will get better and better and better. As the seasons go by, they'll get better and better and better. But from all the leaked stuff that I've seen for season two, season three, it, it, I, I, I hope at some point in time, 
<laughs> this will turn around. Because again, in order for this game to stay alive, they need to make money off of it. And in order to make money, they have to sell skins. And in order to sell skins, they have to look like they're worth the money that they're charging for. But ladies and gentlemen, as always, if you enjoyed today's video, leave a like. If you hate it, leave a dislike. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. I post daily here to 8 in the morning Eastern time. And guys, don't forget, season two is today. So we are going to be checking out that season, all the content that's within. I can't wait to grind out the new weapons, check out the new map. Oh my God, guys, it's going to be outstanding. So of course, like I said, subscribe so you can stay notified for all that content for season two. And check out my live stream, which will be up over on Twitch at 12 p.m. Eastern time today. Day. You guys can find a link to that channel down in the description of this video. But as always, thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.